Hey guys! Hey guys, it's uh, I'm Captain Duck and this is Dwarf Fortress 2014. We're here and uh, we're out with a new version, it's uh, 0.40.03. And let's see if everything uh, goes online like it should. Uh, also, I'm using Phoebus again. Phoebus has been updated to uh, the latest version already, like in a couple of uh, hours or minutes, but maybe even. So we're using that for now, um, and uh, we'll see where we get. Unfortunately, saves broke with this new version, so can't continue the fort I had last time. So we're going to have to start new again. And uh, looks like everything is working. Yeah, seems like the steam is online. Well, let's do another couple of things then, like showing you the duck starter where we are at, and we're at uh, 822 euros. Got uh, a little more, more today, not that much, but uh, well, things are fine. Also, um, let's uh, show you the other stuff. Um, what I prepared, of course, by all latest new updated uh, Duck Starter picture. We had version 4 already. And um, let's see, basics down here haven't changed much, I think. Stretch goals, you've seen these as well. Um, I switched maybe this amount. I'm going to go for an even better processor for gigahertz one now and a different motherboard of, uh, to fit that. More RAM after that and uh, yeah still that next goal is the capture card. I keep shoving that forward but um, yeah that just that's how that important that is. Not, not very. Um, so uh, let's see what else it is. This this is another better list of all the items I'm going to order. And if you still want to give me some advice or something, uh, a lot of you have been going doing that on Twitter and on the YouTube and everything. But uh, now I also posted a fort on Reddit, or a, a fort, a uh, post on Reddit here. What my plans are and what I'm going to upgrade to. Uh, so. If you have any ideas, post there. Um, I guess I should also link everything in the chat. That's the build PC. Uh, that's the Reddit thread. That's just the simple picture. And uh, that's the latest Duck Starter infographic. Um, okay, well, we got that out of the way. And yeah, that's my Imgur account. Um, well, we can move on and actually uh, play some more Dwarf Fort then. Um, let's see, I already created a new world. It's uh, not a small one, since speed is still pretty slow on my computer. And uh, let's uh, check it out. There you go, we go really fast here. It's another yeah, a smaller world even. Uh, there are gobos around, no necromancer towers. And there is a volcano over here. And it's even next to a river. And there's shallow metals. No flux stone though. Um, yeah, well, we've been doing this a lot la these last nights. And uh, yeah, well, just continue like this. Make the small area as small as possible and still have running water in it. There's an aquifer, but there's usually a steep, steep cliffs, so that's not really a problem. And uh, I've not gotten past the first year yet, uh, speed 112. Although I've gotten to winter last night. <laughs> and uh, I'd be continuing that, but uh, yeah, there's a new version out. Anyway, as always, I'm going to use my Dia Vintage 2012 pack. Um, copy the INI files in the, in the directory, and that still works. And well, there's some steel stuff missing. A lobster and fish is always. So always, um, oh, don't have to press tab there. Wish, like, Dodie would fix this. This uh, <laughs> is something which returns a lot. Um, Fifty second, seven points left. Last couple of nights we had some extra success with having some extra plump helmet spawns to go around. That's quite a lot, actually. Um, Maybe we'll add some more drinks as well. Uh, and a bag. Sure. That is fine. Um, 
Let's check a look at the name of our fort. Our fort this time is named Tombs Rights. Okay, not Men's Rights, but uh, Tombs Rights. <laughs> oh wow! Um, and our <laughs> I say Men's Rights, and our group is named the Pale Abbey. Of course, we're named Pale then. <laughs> it's the Abbey of Pale Wise the Pasty Nerds. <laughs> okay, that's. Uh, that's a nice game. <laughs> it's like you're giving me a message. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's embark. <laughs> oh, random generation. Gotta love it. Wow. Okay, well, here we go. Let's uh, see if everything loads. A uh, lot of crash bugs as we're fixing this version. Apparently, uh, including one which showed up at trade screen. So, I think the bug we had where we crashed earlier when the trade caravan arrived might be gone not sure though anyway new place here the dingoes get hungry okay not that bad uh, yeah, I've, I've been saying this a lot last night the last couple of nights and never have you seen like the animal in question it's always keys or uh, key men or ravens or <laughs> raven men or some sort of thing or yaks and uh, stuff like that never dingoes <laughs> oh well um, We'll just hop in. Okay, let's uh, let the game run for a second. That works. Okay. Uh, let's see if we have the Twitch chat and everything still uh, properly aligned. Um, could be a tad better, huh? Uh, well, let's change that. Uh, actually, could something like this and have one more line <laughs> which kind of still breaks oh well um, here we go uh, now let's take a look at our area let's do the, the old zoom technique again we learned that the other day and once my mouse wheel yeah figures then we'll see the whole area and well, yeah, big cliff. <laughs> um, this sort of shaped. Somewhere uh, down should be the water. Yeah, there is. It's a big, nice, flat area, so could go into the mountains. Could uh, build an above, above ground fort. And let's see. Oh, there's another big flat area over there. And the mountain stops. Quite a lot higher than the uh, magma pipes. Magma pipe stops. Um, could make a fortress on top of here. Like, uh, completely channel out this level. And make a fortress on this level. And we'd have more than enough room. Sounds like a plan. Um, okay, well, let's go back to normal issue mode. And you zoom out like that with the mouse wheel. <laughs> have to like move the mouse wheel more than you think though. It's weird how it moves sometimes. Uh, let's keep it at this this view. Uh, no, not even hold shift, just the mouse wheel just keeps scrolling. Um, okay, let's see. We started here. And yeah, we had everything here. Let's take a look at what's in the walls. Um, what's this? Black sand, magma, for magma glass forming, convert, <laughs> magma glass forging, confirmed. Words. Um, so more black sand. Well, that's fine. What sort of rock is this? Gabbro. Oh, gabbro at the surface. Um, Garnierite and tetrahedrite though. Um, black sand. That's copper. I doubt we'll see any metal in this fort. Let's see, this is more black sand and silty clay loam. I guess we could do clay, but still haven't actually done anything with clay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, Alunite wall. Alunite is better. Alunite also might be magma proof. If I am remembering my things right. Um, 
Alunite and the site. Hmm, seems like a better layer here. But no signs of metals. Clay wall, so we have just normal clay as well. Silty clay loam. Hmm. Nope. Okay, no metals. Or, well, me we do have metals, but uh, no iron. That's unfortunate, but hey, uh, we have sand, so that'll work. And there's copper, so we'll have all the forging materials we need. Um, okay, then, yeah, to start the fort, I think, where we were looking up here, all the way up top of the mountain. Yeah, yeah, channel out this level, so we'll have this nice big level, uh, and uh, wall that off, and that should be fine. Um, where should we make the staircase, then? Uh, something like here, I guess. for that um okay um since we don't oh I've one press that by accident uh, yeah since we will flatten down this level I'm going to just dig the staircase right here that should uh, do us plenty good Let's go down a couple of levels. Uh, that should be enough for now. It's just below the bottom level there. Might also dig like an extra way into there. Um, which we can close later. Um, okay, that's fine. Now, uh, of course the top level is going to be problematic. Let's not do it here. Also, uh, let's our statue staircase thing. Okay. Uh, nothing on this level. Because the level above it, above it we're going to dig out. And we're going to start with this area. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, the level above this. This is what we're going to dig out, and then we're going to know nothing on this level yet. And once this is dug out, then we'll start the, uh, the central staircase. <coughs> uh, uh, throat, sorry. Talking all these nights uh, doesn't help. But, uh, well, we're here. Um, okay, well, let's not build any workshops yet, or... Um, Stockpiles, although oh, we could. Let's make a, a, some early stockpiles here. Um, let's put uh, refuse here and put a wood stockpile like um, what well, here. And we'll do a everything stockpile to move all our stuff here here. Let's set that up. Um, so we want animals. Uh, don't do... F well, do do food for now. Uh, furniture. No corpses. No refuse. No stone. Ammo. Coins. Bars. Gems. Goods. Leather. Cloth. Velvet. Everything. Except corpses. Refuse. Stone. Um, so everything will be brought out of the, uh, the wagon. Um, let's also start cutting down some trees. Like everything on this level, if possible. Hmm. This might give some of the weird commands since I'm digging at the wrong level here, I think. Um, I won't be able to ever get these anyway. Nor these. These I should be able to get. Uh, it's probably best to do that on a lower level, though. Is this its own tree? Yes, it is. So what I want to do is cut... Well, basically everything on this level. Which seems like a trunk. 
Actually, this is another one of those moments where the mouse would work. Um, okay. That'll be done. Um, let's make sure the miners stick to mining. You're relieved from hauling. And you are as well. Uh, let's also update our save games and uh, you know, remove this already. So we can move our F1 immediately. And do that on this level. Um, okay, good enough start. Um, how about water sources and zones? I'll add it. Any pools here? No, actually there are some. Um, okay. This is now water source. This is a fishing zone. And this is a fishing zone. Um, that's fine. Uh, oh, and hey, they have already start unduck that. Nice. So we can start our staircase proper. Yeah. Go dwarves. And hey to all the new people who've joined. We're on the latest version of Dwarf Fortress and uh, we're using Phoebus because it's it has been updated. Unfortunately I had a new start a new fort again though. Um they're going down, nice. And uh, stuff is also being dragged up here. No idlers. Oh, and what's the woodcutter doing? Of course he is hauling. Hereby, you are relieved. It is uh, 2 at night, 2 uh, a.m. that is, I think. Yeah, a.m. <laughs> Zero 0200 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and um, <laughs> I have not seen any more demonic chickadees from the pits of hell. We did see the demonic um, swifts though the other day. When uh, yeah, that one fortress, <laughs> that one pre-built fortress which uh, opened the way until the uh, the adamantium. <laughs> Um, combination of both Mirkas, um, might have been able to get through the, f the first year on the, the save from, from last night, but then the new version came out, and another couple of nights had the same ago, but then it kept crashing, so, both, both answers are correct. <laughs> yeah. And the updates break a lot as well, so, can't continue with the old forts. Um, Still carving that. And bring things around. Huh. Is this also a wood? Oh no. <laughs> it's still it's there's so much wood in the still refuse stockpile because the trees were there. One idler. Yeah, the woodcutter. Oh he's already is he done already? Uh, let's chop down some more trees around here. Let's go level by level and take out the trunks. Should probably be the safer way to do this. Uh, this might be one. Uh, there's some copper, some early copper to find. Uh, okay, one more level. Well, okay, that's three levels of trees that will be cleared. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> uh, 
And apparently the, the baby bug, which I unfortunately haven't seen myself, is fixed, so... No more invisible babies everywhere. <laughs> which was, actually was a bug in the previous version. Um, it's a kind of shame I missed that on stream. Would have, yeah, like to see have seen that. Tides, we're still digging. Dangerous terrain. Oh, come on, it's all that dangerous over here. Yeah, um. I don't know if you can't grow trees in this new version, but that's possibly true. <laughs> Makes sense with these big, big trees. Yeah, there's some new features in the new Dwarf Fort, but if you're new to the game, you really should stick with the, uh, the old stable version. That's uh, another tip I've given as well. Also, with the old stable version, my 2012 vintage are uh, comparable. They are made for that, the 2012 version, so... Yeah, I get uh, 34.11, the latest uh, DF starter pack, and watch my 2012 tutorials. If you're new, uh, if uh, you're not, just uh, keep watching or something. <laughs> um, okay, that's yeah. The miners are done by the looks of things. Um, now to channel out, channeling out, channeling out the top level or make a farming level first. This farming is more important. Um, so, I'll trim some more spots off here. Probably. Maybe I should do that first. Um, let's see. Can I put a channel on the same tiles of these? Uh, maybe you won't be able to see it. Something like that. Mm, actually, I just need to take care of the, that I don't build it in those sort of sh short corners. Uh, that's it. This is rock down here, so don't build it there. Um, we can make a couple of rooms here. Let's see what we can do. Just have to fit it to the walls. Why do I have a site on this tile? I should be able to dig out uh, this, right? Do we have site on it? Maybe it would open something, but... Well, if it opened something, it would open up something on the top, and I'd be able to close it anyway, with a single wall. Um, yeah, I think we might just dig out this first. Although, now I do want a different room for the chickens to go in. So I gotta keep that separate at least. Uh, what if wood wall here and here? We just have one entrance to that area like this. Then this will be our chicken room, and we'll probably put the farms in these cor this corner. Now, yeah, have it open like this. Looks uh, pretty good. Um, and you guys are chatting a lot. <laughs> and yeah, Phoebus is out already for uh, zero dot three, dot three, uh, dot zero three even. That's what I'm using. 
Um, okay, this digging that seems fine. Uh, let's do that. I won't be able to channel much of the top level though, but would still be able to shave off this and this little knob here. Actually, there's uh, probably still more bug fixes coming up soon. This is Patati hasn't said that this was a stable version, so... Yeah. Also, that Ford mode is supposed to get some speed up still. But, uh... I don't see much of that yet in, the, in all these crash versions. He's, uh, fixing, uh, he's trying to fix all the, the crash desktops. Oh, something has collapsed, of course it has. Uh... Uh, that's probably a tree thing, and not a minor thing. Phew. <laughs> okay. have to be square basically so I'm going to dig out this tile and uh, build a wall on this tile so we'll have a square farm in this corner um, sure build it out of wood for now and the carpenter can do it Dug out this, I guess. Uh, why are you suspending this already? Come on, try it. Uh, also, we have enough room for the farms now. Let's see, an old 5x5, five five or. Not much room for the seats to about like this. Uh, let's do something different then. Um, and we'll have a 7 tile seat storage above here. A smaller, still quite big farm here. And this will be the seed stock pile. And that's fine. <laughs> yes, people still pining for the dwarf therapist, I am as well. If only that would come back with uh, yeah, the idea of hack. Someone uh, know the latest percentage of the of hack? Was it like 14% or something the other day? Hopefully that's uh, continue a little bit. Ah, the other room is also done. Um, also we should have some rock and could build some workshops, but uh, no room here yet. Well, digging is done. Let's get rid of this level. And then, then we'll build all the workshops on this level. Channel it out. Uh, start with the top part here. Do the lower part later. Hopefully none of the miners will be stupid and get a log on their face. 53%! Oh, nice! So that has moved a lot. Uh, so then might be only be a couple more days until the F hack comes out. Nice. It uh, would be very, very nice. Uh, dangerous terrain, yeah, because we're digging, uh, you're making it dangerous yourself. Uh, is there still wood in this top pile? <laughs> of course there is, I allowed it. Stupid. Um, B. buttons here. Uh, wood. Um, huh? F. I can't take wood out. Huh. Because it's filled with wood. Or allow. Um, 
block? I have no idea. I did something wrong there, but well, soon we'll remove that stockpile anyway. And that'll be fine. Okay, keep taking out that top level. Current stretch goal, well, it's still um, the capture card. Uh, oh, wrong window. The capture card, although <laughs> now it's moved up to 900, and yeah, maybe it'll move up again. <laughs> but, uh, that's where we're going. We're promising that as like the final stretch goal for a while now. <laughs> oh well. Okay, should be able to do some workshops. Um, hmm. How should we do that though? Let's leave a little area around this so we can make a tower. At least two. Workshops, carpenters, uh, oh, those rounds are still problematic as well. <coughs> oh, that was that wall. It's been built by the looks of things. Yeah. Uh, farms also been built. Okay, bigger one, plump helmets all year round. And hey, we have pigtails again, and cave for some reason. And. Hey, the seasonal growing is back! That's something which is fixed. Still... No, it's pretty where it, much where it should be. Still missing something, I think. Wasn't there six cropped? Am I just hallucinating that? At least, I think I'm just misrem misremembering that. It's probably always been five. Okay, um, well that's fine. No idea what you're talking about. Um. Okay, those ramps are removed. Um. Yeah. So at least two away. Um. Not on the path as well. On the path. Yeah. Okay, carpenter number one, carpenter number two. Uh, the same thing with the craft dwarves in the top. Uh, one path is fine. Two craft dwarves, a tanner, and a. wrong way around, duck. A butcher, and a tanner. Um, Let's see, we could also build an early masonry thing, I think. Uh, of course. Oh, it fits here. Okay. And we'll have to wait for those to be made. like to see Toadie's code, but, yeah, he's uh, just scared of all the things that would clone it, I think, as well. Uh, okay, we have craft dwarves, now let's do a couple of things, like wooden bolts, and wooden nest boxes, I need at least six. Carpenter done yet? Yes, it is. Carpenter, you. Um, let's make the tables here again. It's a little bit of walking, but that's fine. 
Um, also hatch cover or two. Actually, a statue or two. Uh, the first carpenter. Start with two wheelbarrows. Then beds. Okay. Are the miners done? Yes, they are. Okay, remove this part as well. And here, remove the up ramps. Um, well, it's not fine enough for the top level now. Um, should also have some more things for here. Like, yeah, make this big. I should also make this bigger and make it more places for the workshops and everything. Um, let's see how we'll do this then. Hmm. Not much room for the, the stockpiles here. So, uh, let's wait until the decommand is done. And we'll make it bigger and then we'll start placing our usual food constructing things. Um, Helix 26 uh, trees might be broken they won't that they won't grow. Not really sure. here and let's let's do do the outer layer now like we should be able to remove this this uh, this will we, we need this top part here I don't think we will Remove it all. It's not like there's like room for um, stockpiles if I place a wall in between here. And I want to make the walls easier to build later on. Um, Oh, yeah, I was going to do the food level first. Oh well. <laughs> the food level can wait. We have enough supplies to last a while. Um. specific goal for this fort is just uh, playing and surviving basically let's see how long it takes before we crash if we crash uh, also I could use something to drink and 
this will take a while. I'll pause uh, my mic fire a second, I'll fix myself something to drink. Be right back. Okay, back again. Uh, well, we're still digging. We should set up stuff down here. Uh, well, let's do that then. Even though it's small. Um, also, see, more important, these things. Uh, not done yet. Um, well, the workshops now. Let's see, where will we place the kitchen and the room still? still here, two of them, then the kitchen, uh, sure do that here, now we'll place it somewhere else, yeah that's a better idea, instead we will place the farmer's workshop, um, so here, no, the fishery then, yeah, place that here, Okay, we'll do our plant stockpile over here. In the top here, we'll do our unprepared fish stockpile. So, this is here by plants. This is here by unprepared fish. And digging here is almost done. Will they channel out the tiles here? I think they will. Not sure though. Um, or maybe they, they won't. Okay. We'll need to rethink this stockpile anyway. Let's remove it entirely. Um, here as well. You want the entire wood stockpile removed. And then we make another one. Um, big one here. Actually. I don't really care about the wood stockpile now. Let's do wait until we have this done. Uh, now though, let's give the channel commands again. Let's make this a straight line. Now that should be channeled. Pulling the miner and. Uh, yeah, now the stockpile's done, gone, it's okay. Oh yeah, what will the trees look like in stone sense? <laughs> Not big, uh, you can see the slices, one slices at a time here. <laughs> Dwarves digging in the most inefficient way possible, next to your fortress. Weird, weird pathing mech uh, routine <laughs> mechanism, whatever it <laughs> algorithm. I 
Okay. <laughs> he fell asleep uh, straight after digging outside. Gonna need a bed soon. Yeah, you can follow dwarves, just uh, any dwarf, which you have the on the uh, V menu. You can press follow. You can actually also do that with enemies or dogs or cats. Uh, like uh, V this cat, you can also follow the cat around. <laughs> you can also follow items. Huh, didn't even know that. Uh, yes, I see my donations, but it's a manual thing. It's not uh, something I update every second. I can see, um, let's check my email, and hey, yeah, uh, there's a new donation. 88 fucking euros! Holy fuck, thanks man! <laughs> that you? That's, uh, well, reaching our current goal again. Not <laughs> damn. Um, well, then we're up to 900 euros. Exactly 88 euros given as well. <laughs> Uh, let's yeah, let's move the goal forward again. While we're at it, <laughs> sorry, we hit me for the goal as well. But that's how you do things. Anyway, uh, yeah, looks like uh, I might be able to get that capture card. Uh, I think I'll actually get the capture card with the money this time. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, thanks as well. <laughs> or seems <super> sixty. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, I have terrible, terrible, terrible math skills. <laughs> Let me do my own little <laughs> calculator on my phone. <laughs> Double check indeed. And you're probably right, but I can't trust chat ever. <laughs> Sorry, but I can. And uh, yeah, it's 910. <laughs> I'm fucking terrible at mouth, if you haven't noticed yet. <laughs> well, let's uh, add 910 in then. Wow. Okay, um... <laughs> that's uh, embarrassing. <laughs> um... Okay. Uh, so... He's nearly done. Remove the mason because this line of... Things their uh, hills is being annoying. <laughs> He's built a table, so that's fine anyway. And uh, yeah, if you told me I'd one day uh, be able to get myself a top-range computer by uh, just from making videos, and if you told me that back in 2007, I'd thought you would, you would be crazy, even for a small-time YouTuber like me. But uh, here we are. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, digging on this level is as good as done. Let's uh, dig some more on this level then. Um, yeah, this will be fine for a big, um, big, big room. Actually, let's leave this locked off in a different little room. So we can put like the fat stockpile here, so maybe our dwarves will have a last chance to eat fat bis uh, tallow biscuits. Because that's still disgusting. Um, there. Shouldn't dig out this, but it does not have problems with this. And, um, on the Delphor to steam, so I'm doing it a lot now. And well one coop they or one co-op dog. They are easy enough to get. Thing is um tax. <laughs> VAT value added tax is there and in the Netherlands it's quite a lot. Uh, if I go outside the Netherlands though and I order from the internet once it gets into the, the Netherlands, I'll have to pay uh, more taxes on it. So ordering outside of the Netherlands is like nearly completely useless for me. I've ordered like t a lot of T-shirts from um, Threadless back in the day, and uh, yeah, I had to pay a lot of import costs on that. So 
yeah, when buying things in the Netherlands, try and buy them from a Dutch web shop, so you won't have that shit going around. And uh, well, I do did find some cheap sites, and some sites are some sites are pretty pretty cheap. And that Azerty one is uh, yeah, very good. Um, so one I, th I think I've ordered from in the past as well. Okay, down here is going on. Hmm, I could. No, that's not place to workshops here. This is a nice plot for two workshops. Oh, actually, I know. I don't have the farmer's workshop yet. Uh, I don't ever need two of them, but two of them fit there, so. There we go. And yeah, prices are uh, weird and stupid. In the UK, it's probably even really worse. But yeah, import taxes, import fucking taxes. Still, uh, I think I found a reasonable price, like 300 euros for that one 4 gigahertz processor. It's pretty fucking good, I think. You guys find that cheaper than uh, uh, whatever that one was? For then 300 dollars? Would be a lot cheaper. Oh well. Uh, making fires is an adventure mode thing, I think. <laughs> yeah, Manson, that. Yeah. Made in China, shipped to the US, US, put in a fancy box there, probably. And shipped to Europe. And then shipped from somewhere in Europe to the Netherlands. <laughs> and then okay, you can buy it from a web shop. Um, okay, things are going well. Um, let's reorder stockpiles here a little bit. Let's have the top of the fortress the staircase here be the refuse one. Multiple ones, and here is another corner which need to, needs to go. Uh, this right here. Um, hmm. No, it should not go. Okay. Four idlers, huh? Um, I could make the wood stockpile again as well now. This side of the fortress is still good enough. Um, this will do. Yeah. Or maybe it depends on where I put the entrances to the fortress. If I put the entrances here and there, then I have much more room here. Oh, well, I'll see. Done. Okay, now that those two um, workshops, the kitchens, and I need a place for the tables and beds, and I guess the tables and beds in this little corner. Um, yeah, put the kitchens here. One kitchen, two kitchen, then do the stockpiles. Um, Let's see, what still what do we still need? We have uh, seeds, plants, and unprepared fish. Next step up is um, eggs. Um, sure, it is big. Uh, we also wanted for a fat stockpile in here, in there. Uh, what else is there? The rest stockpile. This all has rest. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, this one will be egg. This one will be food. Uh, fat. 
Oh, and the prepared food stock piles, of course. Um, let us fit those on this level, probably. Two smaller ones. It's usually in barrels always. Uh, that's normally fine. Um, kind of harder to do like this. idea um, let's do split these okay yeah so this one will be drinks um, yeah drinks uh, remember to also put the animal drinks in there this one will be prepared food, this one is eggs, this one is rest, so no unprepared fish, egg, plants, drinks, seeds, fat, that's it, and the final one is fat. Okay, how about tables and beds? Um, let's put beds in the corner. Um, tables can go here, straight next to the kitchen. Um, yeah. Okay. That works. Um, how about the miners? They're not doing things. And they should be doing things. Um, Next option would be the stone crafting level. However, uh, that would be nice in the obsidian layer. If there were any. Um, let's see what the obsidian looks like. Yeah, like, like this, of course. Um, camera, cobaltite, slate. Um, Slate is probably better than nothing. Whatever uh, like layer I'm going to dig into now is going to be our uh, wall rock layer. Um, would make sense to do it in the andesite, I guess. Also, I think andesite has a higher chance of having good materials. So um, let's see the top and the side layer, that's fine. Oh. Okay, normal rock crafting level. We could make wooden walls. It still makes a lot of sense. But you know what, I should maybe start doing that more, wooden walls. It is, uh, it's a weird thing, but in this version, it makes way more sense to build a wall out of wood. And remember to start with the corners. And I think that's something I should probably change and uh, put in the next series of the Avitas as well. Don't get to go with rock walls anymore. Go with wood walls. Wood is so easy to get. Tons of it with these trees, and it makes sense, like in a uh, historic standpoint as well. Yeah. Also, hopefully, less managing of the wall color type. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hope that works. And yeah, the wood's value is low, and... Okay, with your monkey, but again, for new players, having a lower fort value is also good. So, uh, yeah, definitely for the next Diavitas, that's going to be the next recommendation, I think. And if you want to raise your fort worth, you just start building artifacts and uh, engraving walls. Engraving walls will really raise your fort worth. Fort Worth, yeah, worth. Fortress value. <laughs> um, 
with blocks. <laughs> That's an even better way, probably. Would look better, probably as well. Do they count as smooth? Oh. Is that maybe a thing? If you build a wooden wall, then um, your uh, enemies might climb up that really easily. And if you build a stone wall, they will just slide off it. <laughs> That's also an idea, uh, Manson. It's going to be weird to have a wooden fortress here, but. Well, it's, it's learning, and I think it's a very good tip for new players. Um, let's see, our carpenter is done with everything, craft tours as well. Um, that's fine then. Let's also place the nest boxes. Um, we have six of them. Let's just place them along this wall. Also, like a door or two. Of course, the carpenter is busy enough now. Um, well, the woodcutter will help him with carpentry. Uh, yeah, build a wall higher than one Z level is probably still smarter with wood. And help against climbing enemies. Uh, also, we've had a pretty summer. I'm getting much, much faster at this every night of playing this. Uh, also, that statue is done. Now I can see it. There's one statue. Let's take a look at our one statue. Um, oh, the wrong button. Uh, BS. Uh, v. And V. This is an andesite statue of Wus, the mountain is silver. Item is this I image of a voice, the mountain is silver, the deity of jewels. Depicted as a male dwarf in Andesign by the ghost Minkil Kili Silop. There's no not a key in there. A voice, the mountain is silver, is striking a triumphant pose. So uh, one of our gods, uh, the god of gems. Well, <laughs> that seems like a great statue to make. <laughs> a great god to pray to. Um Okay. Walls being placed, uh, the door should also be placed. And then uh, not done yet, the door. Let's see, is it done now? Nope. Give some more time then. Now it should be done. here and let's make our animal area zone here make it a bed pasture between all the chickens and last night we were talking about that the chickens did not actually need moss to survive so I guess this time we won't pierce the caves all that soon and find out if that's true Science. Of course, something is blocking something. There's uh, digging going along. Let's also place a hot key here. Actually, this should be hot key number two. And this number three. Again. And one of these things is suspended. Uh, this is an annoying part with wooden walls. Some types of wood have different colors. Um, what color is this? This is andesite. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> 
This is something I did myself, I guess. Stop doing your fortress. Mm. Kind of go with uh, by the new people eh, of uh, fixing food supply first. So that's like the first big killer for every fortress. And just building up the kitchen. Come on, just build it. out there. How about uh, the claiming of net boxes? It is claimed. Huh. Oh, uh, I should probably have one or two more nest boxes here. Yeah. <laughs> Forbidden different colored wood. That's an idea. And it's a they're pretty different, but for like a new player, that yeah, it's kind of annoying in the long run. <laughs> walls, I, th I think at least your walls have to be all be the same color. But, uh, but that's yeah, my OCD with that. Okay, now here let's do it with logs. Let's um, build everything out of persimmon. Uh, persimmon wood logs. Finish those corners, please. And there's some uh, worms in this room. That's the little icons you see there. I think it should still be, might be here. Or a louse, even. <laughs> or, yeah, actually, that is a worm. <laughs> Chicken should eat that. Should be fine then. Dwarven Compendium. What? Oh. What's all that then? Um, an illustrated handbook for Dwarf Fortress. Okay, someone make, made a new uh, tutorial. But then a whole handbook, and uh, well, you guys should show this as well. I haven't seen this tutorial yet. Uh, if you like text tutorials, this seems better than uh, the old um, Tiny Pirate one. <laughs> All these sorts of stats as well. Probably pretty good to look through. Um, I'll go on. Uh, ah, I was waiting also for this bed to be done. Uh, we have those things again. Um, corner walls done yet? No, of course not. This is nearly done. suspending that happens just to cancel it and build it again looks nicer than tiny pirates and I'm talking about the one the old um, web-based one not the book he wrote Book on Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> yeah, hi everyone who's uh, getting in. 
Actually, three jewelers is usually not enough. It's nice to be able to give a lot of jewelry uh, commands and then have a lot of sh different shops for that. Oh, come on, dwarves. Should have known. I'm actually not always sure. And that would work. Okay, now we can do the rest of the walls. Um, start at the bottom. Also, um, think about where am I going to do the exits and entrances. I'm guessing one on the right here. Although, not much room to do a bridge here. Uh, okay, one entrance in the top. Uh, here, Persimmon Wood. And let's stop out the piece of wall here. Well, the entrance will be. Okay. The other one in the south here. We'll build another bridge here. And ramp up to that. Should be fine. Yeah. Um. Persimmon and also remove the tiles which are not necessary or not properly aligned. Okay. I built four walls now, but let's finish those. Before I still start building the other uh, ring around it. And yeah, uh, the compendium is by the looks of things for the older version, but that's fine. But, uh, the uh, 2012 version is still pretty much the same as this version. things down here. Done. Okay, uh, then the workshops. Or the stockpiles even. A stone stockpile. Uh, a gem stockpile. Uh, three... Not refuse. Fini three different finished goods. Stockpiles. Actually, I haven't been building furniture stockpiles much, like at all, in the last couple of fortresses. Instead of just having a, a mechanism-only stockpile, have this be the furniture stockpile for now. Uh, seems like a good idea. Okay, then remember, never, ever, ever have a stone stockpile with all the stones in it. Otherwise, you'll have lots of problems with horse never stopping dragging. Um. And you know, I guess we'll make our crowds out of andesite. Um, hmm. Yeah. Uh, dwarves start digging this level out as well. And how about one of these slate levels? This level, we can do the old sleeping quarters level. Let's see how fast I can do this now. This is uh, designing. This is still basically a sport. <laughs> One of these days, maybe I'd get smart and. Uh, Use Quickfort. It's an app or program made especially for doing something like this. I've never used it. <laughs> this is a stupid thing, and even though I've known it exists for years, it's still about stubbornly I keep doing this. Uh, 
I also had a hospital to have different rooms, which is something which I liked. Um, something like this. like an office here for the medical dwarf. Um, this. Yeah. Three stockpiles with operating rooms. Um, or three rooms for operating rooms. Like two operating rooms and a stockpile room for the coffers. And one new office for the medical dwarf. And he'll be the sick ward. Um, fine. So we've got to remember to remove these corners. So the dwarves won't need double doors, but just a normal single single digit doors to their room. Single tile doors even. Uh sure, go dig that out. So dig this level out, it will take ages, but yeah, we'll keep the door miners busy. Um. <laughs> the caravan update. That's been something that's been in the pipeline for years. It's a uh, very long thing, calls, whatever. Back burner. <laughs> Uh, also, walls are done here, so let's start building all of them. Uh, Persimmon would fall. Uh, don't open that one. Side. Okay, then it's carpentry again. Pecan wood. Beach wood. Whatever's closer. Persimmon wood. And sand pier log. Let's also build the little ramps where the bridge will connect to. Uh, that should be a... Um, buttons. Ah, there we go. Ramp like this. These three away. Here. Uh, then the middle wheel give a problem though. So we'll do this instead. Uh, 
beach. Same thing up here. Three way. Also ramps. Yeah. That's what I usually do. Oh, new ramp. Um, actually, I kind of want to do it around the corner here. But uh, this will work just as fine. And let's remove this so this will become a like, two layer ramp here. Tad nicer. Um, okay, that's all the wood queued up for the wall basically. That'll take a while to complete. And we'll probably give a lot of suspension problems here. Hey uh, Slavic. Thanks nice for joining us again. Late at night. Uh, yeah, I'm doing this a below ground version of por uh, portion to the fort. Let's do a little show from the top. So this is the top level. Actually, this was the top level, but I took that away. So this is the top level now. Uh, then below that, this is the farming level. Farms, breweries, kitchens, big food stock piles, and your little first food and dining, uh, sleeping place. Then down some more levels is the stone crafting level. Uh, down some more, this will be something else, forging or whatever. And even deeper down will be the bedroom levels and proper dining room levels. And that's all I have for now. Doesn't go much deeper than that. Creature occupying site. Talking of creatures, what's in our fortress by the way? Giant cockatiels and a sturgeon. Uh oh. That sounds like one of those nasty fish. Yeah. Better not get my dwarves too close. Uh, also, the giant cockatiel. Um, I'm following it. That's not what I wanted. Um, it's a large monster in the form of a cockatiel. It's very fat. Enormous overall. A cockatiel is like a cockatoo. One of those pair of things, I think. Yeah, that is. I'm missing chat. Oh, um, part will blow your farm. It's hard to uh, do both things at the same time. <laughs> uh, missing a wall below our farm. I have built a wall here. Oh, actually, here. You're right. This is just fucking plain old white sand, and there's a huge opening. Okay, thanks for noticing that. <laughs> yeah, it's not a carp, but uh, <laughs> in Dwarf Fort you never know with all those nasty fish. And it's an oceanic fish as well, so there will still be a small one. Um, let's see, how are the stockpiles doing? Um, seed stockpile, it's fine. Actually, the plant stockpile. Well, actually, there is. Um, nothing on prepared fish. There is some drinks left. Not much though. Should start making new ones. And of course, no prepared meal yet. Yet. I do have a nice collection of eggs though. Could do a uh, chick explosion to get tons and tons of eggs, but it's probably fine. Um, okay. Need new things like more barrels. Let's keep the carpenters busy, busy, busy. Also, uh, rock pots. That would be one of these. Like you, make rock pots. Make a whole list of them. them. You make them. You start with infinite rock craft making. Um, Jim. Jewelers, I uh, don't have any jewelers yet, but let's give her a couple of CRA commands. 
anyway, um, let's give a couple of mechanism commands. Um, anything else I need, need here at the moment? Not really, I need a, those rock pots mostly. Uh, or, yeah, carbon trees. Hunter has no job, uh, planter has no job. Planter should really have a job. Uh, or maybe, if I make all the plants here. Um, dimple cups, quarry bushes. Ah, here we go. Yeah, now we're going back to the old way. 2012 way. In the winter, dimple cups. In the spring, quarry. Uh, summer, sweet pods. Uh, autumn, cave wheat. <laughs> yeah. And no pigtails in there, but that's fine. I have two sheep. If I, I could uh, have one string, I can make get. I can get string by shearing some sheep. I need to check my walls carefully. Are there more more problems in them? Don't see anything. <laughs> that goes. That goes there. Um, this should be done soon enough. <laughs> this is OCD support group. <laughs> and it's, yeah. Here I am making terrible, not symmetrical fortresses. I'm sorry, guys. Let's try and brewing a couple of things. Also, no more cooking with plump helmets. Uh, yeah. Let's also try making a couple of easy meals. The lower level wooden wall has a gap. Like here. Oh, like here. That is a problem that I would have noticed though when it wall was done. Not really a big one. <laughs> the, the, the walls aren't still even built yet. So yeah, that's uh, something that would have shown up in a while anyway. Hmm. He sees it, yay, that's one little tiles. <laughs> um, in the north there's a diagonal gap. Now oh, here. Yeah, that's also because this wall has to be built first. I kinda fucked up that net in the earlier part. Also, lots of these ramps can be removed, I guess. Uh, well, we'll do that after the walls have been built. Yep. And yes, it can move diagonally. But, yeah. If I build it now, then a dwarf will build a wall here. Then he'll build a wall here. And I won't be able to build a wall here yet. Because dwarves are stupid. Um, well, now it's more waiting. There's no idlers, at least. It was summer, wasn't it? Um... Yes, it is. It's time we get a uh, wagon wave, if possible. Yeah. So, I'm thinking the planter is hereby relieved from hauling. So, he'll focus on planting and making some drinks. I actually don't want like a hole in my form level here. <laughs> this needs to be defended. So yeah. It would be nice to piss off the OCD ears. I can't. <laughs> because of my own OCD. Um, yeah, for the lower level, this kind of outpost here is pretty much useless as well. 
Oh well, we'll keep it. And also, let's rebuild this wall so it'll have higher priority. Because it has high prior priority. Are for the slaves to our mock too? Doors are still stupid. <laughs> and they still thrive. Um, don't tell me that's this wall. No, it's not. It's this wall, probably, isn't it? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, first, move your stinking log pile away. Thank you. Then try again. Uh, how's digging going? Uh, you could also make it a four.